Hello everyone. So today we are going to perform our new experiment, and the experiment is on Thevenin's theorem. We are going to perform the verification of this theorem. Basically, this theorem was invented by Leon Charles Thevenin. He was a French telegrapher engineer. So he developed this theorem basically to reduce complex circuits into simplified circuits, and the simplified circuits were called Thevenin equivalent circuits. Okay. So what basically this theorem states? It states that in any linear circuit containing voltage source, current source, or resistor, okay, they could be replaced by an equivalent combination of a voltage source, a means a single voltage source, in series with a single resistance connected across the given load. Okay, the simplified circuit, as already I have told you, it is called Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Okay. So basically, in other word, you can state it that it is possible to simplify any electrical circuit, okay, to an equivalent two-terminal circuit having a single constant voltage source in series with a resistor, okay, connected to the load. So that constant single voltage source is called the Thevenin's equivalent voltage or Thevenin voltage, and the resistor which is connected to Thevenin's equivalent voltage, it is called Thevenin's resistor. Okay, or Thevenin equivalent resistor. Okay. So, uh, how to perform this experiment? Basically, uh, in this experiment, what we are going to do? We are going to draw a complex circuit. Okay, and at a single time, we will uh, find out the value of Thevenin's voltage and then Thevenin resistor. Okay, and then we will check that. Whether it is true that uh, uh, the voltage or the current in the load register when the circuit was full, okay, whether it is equal to the voltage or current in the same load when we are going to do that in the equivalent circuit. Okay, basically, I mean to say that when uh, we are going to uh, make a complex circuit, we will check. That what is the voltage or current in the load register, okay, or in the load, okay, and then we will make the equivalent circuit, and then in the equivalent circuit also we will find out that what is the voltage or current in the load, okay, in the equivalent circuit. If the voltage or the current present in the load in our original circuit and in the equivalent circuit is same, then it will prove that yes. The Thevenin theorem is working finally for that experiment or for that circuit, and the statement, whatever the statement it states, it holds true or good. Okay, so moving on to the circuit part, here is my multi-frame. So here in the multi-frame, we will make a complex circuit. Okay, so for that thing, uh, we will take DC power source. We are going to use our Two different DC voltage source. We'll use the resistor also. Okay, we'll use a low value resistor and a high value resistor. We will use at our load resistor. Okay, so three resistor I have used here, and I will take one more resistor here. Okay, so I have taken these resistor. I would also need the ground also, so I will just use the ground here. Now we have taken the components. Now I will make a circuit. Okay, so suppose I change the value here. Suppose take it 20 volt here of V1. I will change the value of V2 to suppose uh, 10 volt. Okay, so I will connect here. This thing. So now uh, all these three resistors are, are of uh, 1 kilo ohm. So uh, I would change here my register value. Suppose this R2 would be uh, 100 ohm. Make it 100 ohm, and uh, uh, suppose this R3, I would change it to 2 kilo. Ohm. Okay, so now I will make a simple circuit here by connecting these things. Okay, done. I will connect here 100 ohm register, and this. Register this R4. I will increase its value. 
so that could look like a load higher load okay so i will just rotate it here now okay so i have made it 10 ohm sorry i would have made it 10 kilo ohm done and now i will add the ground here okay so this is basically the complex circuit okay containing the load resistor of 10 kilo okay so as the thevenin says that we can uh, reduce this complex circuit to a simplified circuit containing one single voltage source with one single resistance so that voltage source would be called thevenin voltage and the resistor would be called thevenin resistor or thevenin equivalent resistor okay along with the load okay so uh, for finding out uh, the thevenin equivalent voltage and thevenin equivalent resistor there is process okay so i am going to tell you that what is the process so for finding the thevenin equivalent voltage what we need to do we need to remove here the load resistor and we will find out the voltage across this part this whole part okay and for finding out the thevenin equivalent resistor we do need to replace the voltage source or current source whatever is present in the circuit by its internal impedance so if we have used here the current source then uh, we would have replaced it by open circuit but since we have used here the voltage source we will replace it by the short circuit so firstly we will find out that uh, what is our thevenin equivalent voltage okay and before finding that thing uh, i would just analyze this circuit to find out that what is the voltage across this uh, load resistor okay so for analyzing it i am going to use here a multimeter so since we are going to find out the voltage here so i would connect this multimeter across this resistor okay now simply analyze this thing just open your multimeter yeah just see we are getting a 9.901 volt okay so this is the voltage which we have got across our register when the circuit is full okay so if this voltage comes out to be voltage across this 10 kilo ohm in the equivalent circuit also then that means that yes the complex circuit can be replaced by an equivalent simple circuit okay so now we will find out that what is the thevenin equivalent voltage okay so as i already i have told that uh, we have to re just remove the load here okay so just i will stop the simulation and i will delete this load register here okay so now i am going to find out the voltage here okay so just uh, run this simulation so here we are seeing that uh, we are getting 10 volt okay of voltage so we will uh, write down somewhere 10 volt or we will uh, just make a 10 volt of source here because this 10 volt is the thevenin equivalent voltage or the thevenin voltage okay so i will just uh, make here a 10 volt of source here as already i have found out the thevenin voltage okay so this one is the 10 10 volt okay so now for finding out uh, the thevenin equivalent register okay so for finding out the thevenin equivalent register we do need to again uh, make here the load okay so the load value was uh, 10 kilo ohm so i would take the 10 kilo ohm register from here and i will connect it again here just rotate it clockwise and again i have made the original circuit again now for finding out the thevenin equivalent resistor we do need to replace these voltage source by the short circuit okay so delete this 20 volt and just connect it by a short circuit these two register okay and here also remove this 10 volt and we have to short this part to this part through a wire okay so uh, we will place a wire okay it should be from this part to sorry from uh, this part to this part ok 
able to need to again do this thing a wire from this part to this part just increase this wire to here okay so we have shorted the wire from here to here also okay so you can see here that we have replaced both the voltage source by the short circuit okay now we will find out the equivalent thevenin register okay across the load so here in the multimeter only i would just click on this ohm button okay and then uh, just run this simulation so here we are uh, checking that uh, we have got a 99.01 ohm okay so this register value is our thevenin's equivalent register value okay so i would uh, just connect here a 99.01 ohm register here okay so just take a register here okay so change the value here to 99.01 ohm okay so this register is basically the thevenin's equivalent register okay so we have simplified the circuit okay and we have found out that what is our thevenin's equivalent voltage and thevenin's equivalent register okay and now we will check that whatever the parameter was uh, the current or the voltage was in through uh, the 10 kilo ohm register in the original circuit whether it is same in the equivalent circuit or not okay so i would just uh, complete this circuit here also in the equivalent circuit also okay i have just copied this 10 kilo ohm register by control c now our thevenin equivalent uh, circuit is completed okay and here i will also complete uh, the original circuit also so i will just delete here both uh, the wires and i will just choose here the voltage source so we have used two voltage source here the v1 was a uh, 20 volt and the v2 was 10 volt now i would uh, connect the 20 volt and 10 volt voltage source to the circuit again done okay so i would use again another multimeter to analyze the equivalent circuit also okay so for this thing i would connect multimeter first part here and the negative part of multimeter will be connected here okay so here i will run the circuit now once again so you can see here that the voltage across the 10 kilo ohm register in the complex circuit it is 9.901 since this is a recurring decimal okay so we can't find out uh, that what would be the end of uh, uh, the value after the decimal it could be 9.01123 something like this okay and here also we have found out that in the equivalent circuit we are getting 9.9022 it could be uh, running to infinite okay this value so basically we have found out that the voltage is equivalent okay or we are we can say it is approximately equal so here it is 9.90 volt okay if we are taking the value up to two decimal only and here it is also 9.90 volt okay and if we will take uh, up to three decimal or four decimal we will find that the value is nearly approximately equal okay so here it means that yes the thevenin theorem that is stated that a complex circuit could be simplified to form a equivalent circuit okay so this statement holds good for this circuit okay so this was the whole part of the experiment i hope you understood that how to perform this experiment thank you for watching